Hello, Zims and Zers, Zoomers and Boomers, and welcome to the final league match of Rakdos Burn. Today, we are currently 2-2, two and two, so we're about to see if this is a positive league or a negative league. So far, I mean, I mean, it's not bad. Like, 2-2 two and two right now, going into our fifth match. Off meta, weird deck, not bad. I do not like this hand, though. I don't like the Rakdos charms. I don't like this soul spike with nothing to pitch for it. So we're going to mulligan. Let's see. Let's go ahead and keep it. And I think... I think we should bottom the street wraith. Here we're probably gonna need to get the uh, get the Ractus charm moving, okay, especially with the Forbidden Orchard. Uh, okay, so it's scam. So turn one, reanimate scam. This is not going to be good. Not going to be good. They took the lightning bolt and they're going to reanimate with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are, what else are you going to take? Sleeper agent? The raid? Reckoner Raid. Sovereign's a bite you probably don't care about too much. Yeah. Reckoner Raid. That was a good turn one play I had potentially. Feeling a little defeated. And it's only been one turn, so. See, it's a 4 3. What can we even do here? I, I I guess we just have to kind of go with the plan. Right? This is like <laughs> hopefully they can burn themselves out a little bit too. Like they they've done quite a bit of damage to themselves. We're about to take 7. If we draw a Rakdos charm, that'd be pretty nice. But we don't. So we're just gonna drain to drain. Drain and gain. Right. This is this is this is kinda hurting. I mean it's so many lands really rough okay that's good that's a good thing let's go ahead and play the raid reckon a raid let's go ahead and play that okay so they're gonna take two So we're going to be left with one life. Do they have a lightning bolt? We're going to be left with two life. And we get a Rakdos charm. Oh. Okay, so... Oh. Hmm. Bowmasters kills us here. Hmm. Let's click OK. So that's three. 
You can deal four. I think we're just... <sighs> I wanted so hard to... like That would be four, five, and then... The sleeper agent trigger would have killed them. <sighs> if we would have had just an additional item... Okay. Void walkers in fully. Let's take out those. And let's take out one Rakdos charm. We were close. We were close, but not close. I'm really upset, actually. <laughs> Alright, we won. So, can we get some good news? Okay, so we have the sleeper agent, we have the void walker. Let's keep. We have a little bit of life gain here. Alright, go ahead and play this. Let's go play the sleeper agent. And then next turn, we can play Gontis. Their mana base is pretty painful. So depending on what they do. Shock it in? Yeah. Okay, so they're see, we've already dealt four damage essentially. And it's only Ragaman. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. We're winning winning the race. We have that bump in the night for later. But we're gonna avoid Walker right now. We're going to Void Walker to try and keep them off their game plan. Hopefully they don't have, whatchamacallit. Hopefully they don't have like a lightning bolt or removal or something. And we just have to take this, unfortunately. Bloodstained Mire entered the exile zone? Okay. Not bad. Okay. Come on. <laughs> okay. So they got the swamp. Do they have the they have Croxa? Oh. Uh Croxa's gonna go to the exile zone. Let's say we discard Gontis. Gross that we drew Chancellor of the Dross. Let's go ahead and tap for the Gaunties. Let's bump in the night. Pay the one life, trigger Gaunty to get a energy. And then I say we attack. And they can probably pitch. No? Okay, perfect. So, down to five. If they deal damage to me, Fury would mess me up. Fury would mess me up bad here, because I think Fury can target face. I could be wrong, though. Perfect. Soul Spike. Do you have two black cards to pitch? Because we're both at five, but I can gain three life. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We 
We have six damage total. So we don't even have to rely on sleep regent. There is the fury. Any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. Okay. Yep. Okay, so he's going to kill the sleeper agent after he evokes it. Or, well, he's going to... He's going to do the thing. He's going to do the scam. Right. No? No scam? Oh, my. Did he punt? Yeah, he punted. He should have scammed his fury to kill the sleeper agent, but we would have... We, we would have won anyway. Okay. We just need to do that again. We need to do that again. That was rough. I was I was shaking in my boots. It's all right. I'm a little shook. I'm a little shook. I want to see hopefully we can get that same kind of pattern get the uh, get some early damage in and then just keep pushing it void walker in hand is key void walker mire there's no way to cast void walker though let's try to get more land and a void walker Ugh. We're gonna mulligan one more time. We got the Void Walker. We got the two lands. Very painful lands. I think we keep this. We pitch the Rakdos. And I think we pitched the Soul Spike. If he opens up with the turn one scam that's gonna suck okay so we have a way to kill his we get turn one sleeper agent do we want to do the turn one sleeper agent i think we do yeah because that's gonna just consistently deal damage for us and to us unfortunately but we have the Bowmaster, so we can block some of it once we get too low on life. What did you pick up, Monkey? He got another Void Walker. Okay, so he's probably feeling pretty good. And he casts the Void Walker. I honestly don't care about him casting the Void Walker. We do need a red source, though. Because this is becoming painful. These, these it might have been greedy. As I hit my mic, it might have been greedy to go down the four. Or go down to five cards. So that's what? Six, seven, eight. I think we're just going to let it come through. Oh, shoot. We shouldn't have done that. We should not have done that because now if he has a lightning bolt, we're done. We can't activate our mana if he has a lightning bolt. He's got grief. That's fantastic. Luckily, though, he only gets one card. He's probably going to take the Bowmasters. Okay. 
He is probably going to take those Bowmasters. Yeah. That doesn't work. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So what do we got? We have a grief and undying malice. He gave up. Hold on. Why did he give up? Where's the game? Why did he give up? Well, look at that. I was dead to rights there. I don't... We could have griefed him and done the Undying Malice, maybe? I was trying to read how Dothy Voidwalker works, but... We, we got... We got a chess. We got a... We got a championship point. And we got 100 play points. Let's open up the chess. Let's go ahead and open up the chest and see what we get. Yeah, open it. We got... I don't know why it's not showing. But we got a loyal bodyguard. Which is, I don't know, probably not that great. But um, fantastic that we went 3-0. and oh. I'm still trying to understand why he gave up like that. If we go and look, Dothy Voidwalker. Uh, oops. Either, either way. Okay. Well, welcome back for a wrap up. We are officially at the record of three and two with our <laughs> with our amazing deck. Uh, so, Dothy Boy Walker. Okay, yeah. He was afraid of me doing something. Apparently, I don't know what. That, that was interesting. Maybe it was the Rakdos charm was gonna kill him. I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't know. I'm I'm bewildered from what our opponent just did. Just giving up like that. Um wrap up though. We did three and two. It felt like a struggle bus against the faster decks. I think that's because all the black burn is sorcery speed for the most part. We don't have a lot of creatures for defending, and I really, really, like, I cannot commit to a board of providing my opponents with a lot of 1-1s in order to try and take over the game with Rakdos Charm. If I were to rebuild this deck, I would probably take out the Forbidden Orchards. I would probably take out the Rakdos Charms and really focus in on adding maybe some more burn pieces maybe some more uh some additional fetch lands in here to try and smooth out the mana base so we're not trying to be constantly hurt by our mana um other than that maybe some sideboard adjustments too you know this this sideboard is very much aimed at artifact hate probably for um chalice of the voids the the rain gore which is you know life gain decks and as well as Knight of Dusk Shadows, which seems to be pointed at, at life gain. Uh, I would maybe take out the knights. I think we only put them in once. Uh, I would probably take out the knights for some maybe living end hate or maybe more graveyard hate. Because I feel like Dothy Voidwalker is pretty, pretty fragile as far as graveyard hate goes. But that's it. 
that's the end of this league. Please leave comments below. Let me know how you would change this deck. Uh, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and catch us next week where we're going to be playing an all-new league uh, with a brand new deck. Maybe we'll go to Popper uh, or stay in Modern. I'm not sure yet. From here, though, uh, again, thank you for watching. Really appreciate everybody who's watching. Have a good night.